GOP presidential hopefuls traded blows on stage in Tuscaloosa, Alabama tonight, and our upcoming guest was there and provided on-scene footage. Let's take a look. Look, I don't work for Donald Trump right now, currently, of course, but it would be political malfeasance to tell anyone who's up 50, 60 points to come to a debate and watch everyone uh, try to attack them. So regardless of who it is, I would never tell them to be on that debate stage, which creates a problem for those on the debate stage, because what they're trying to do is surpass someone who isn't here. And so it's tough to go head to head with a person who is not on the stage. That's been the way it has kind of played out this entire time. And everybody on that stage is running in that lane of I'm Donald Trump's policies without his personality. Uh, and by the way, I'd add in New Hampshire, we've got about 63 state legislative endorsements for Ron DeSantis. Donald Trump has about 52. And I think Nikki Haley probably has less than I can hold up on one hand. We have the organization in place. She's just running in a clean air space right now there. Her moment will come. The pressure will be put on her. And as we saw tonight, when the pressure is put on Nikki Haley, she can't deliver in the clutch. For more on the debate, I want to bring in journalist and host of the Wyatt Sharp Show. Wyatt Sharp, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Of course. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. So it looked pretty exciting there tonight. How was the energy like being live at the event? Yeah, certainly it was a bit of a chaotic vibe, as, as is usually the case uh, for something of, of kind of this nature. It's obviously very busy. Um, the candidates are gathered in a completely separate area of the venue in the actual debate hall, of course. And then this is kind of the spin room and the media filing area where all of the media and the press gathers. And they essentially wait for after the debate where the candidates then come out, or at least that's what they're supposed to do. But to be honest, the only candidate who really took questions from the media was Vivek Ramaswamy. Chris Christie came out, he did about one interview with a network and then left. Nikki Haley did one interview and then uh, left. And Ron DeSantis, at least I didn't even see him at all here uh, in the spin room. Um, so, but certainly the energy, obviously the debates was playing on, on the screens in here and there were staffers in here from all of the campaigns. And so talking amongst themselves about how their candidate was doing. Uh, so it was definitely a very interesting uh, experience, again, to hear kind of the back and forth. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.